In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing custom bag covers from bagpipecovers.com. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. All right, guys, today in this bag, we have a custom bag cover from bagpipecovers.com. I've been using this guy for years and years. I'll show other examples of his work later on in the video, but uh, great covers. They've always worked out well, been exceptionally well made, and I'm excited because this time it's for my McCallum Folk Pipes. Now, this one came with a black bag cover, but it didn't have a zipper. If there was one knit I had on this set, was this the bag cover? Because the pipes are some of the most fun and enjoyable uh, pipes, maybe even musical instruments I've ever played. This thing is just phenomenal. But it was a bit of a pain getting into the back because it does have a full moisture control system inside. There's actually four, can you see them all in there? There's four separate moisture control canisters in there. And I want to be able to get to those readily, dry out the desiccant, whatever else I need to do. And, uh, the other thing was the bag that I came with was black. It looked fine. It was very well made, except for the lack of zipper. But I want something with a little bit more style and fashion. So I got what we have in this bag. All right, being careful. I don't want to cut the bag cover. That'd be bad. Okay, so that's cut. All right, let's see. So I will have the model number of this one. I don't recall that underneath, but I wanted navy gold with gold quilting on the cover. So that's the grippy bag sign. That's the grippy body size, I should say. And then, there we go. Here's this side. So we've got this lovely deep blue and gold. I just thought it'd be nice. I'm going to figure out how to make some custom smaller cords. Uh, for this. This set, just really briefly, it actually has what appear to be standard bagpipe cords, but with only one of the two going through it, and they split the cord to fit on the pipes. I think that's pretty ingenious and allows you to use existing bagpipe cords for this set. That said, I'm going to go to the fabric store, uh, and I'm going to try to see if I can't find some smaller tassels and maybe slightly smaller cords like this and do a more traditional dual cord like a set of Highland Pipes in the gold. I haven't bought any of that yet because I wanted to be able to bring this along with me to match the gold as best I can and have some gold cords on the cover. And if I can't find the gold, then I'll do it in the navy. But I hope to have the gold just so it all has a little bit more sparkle because these things are, well, they're cool and uh, majestic in their own right. So let's see how this fits. Out come the drones. And it does indeed have a zipper on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip that. And we're going to put this through. This is just on a standard Bannatine medium bag. It appears that the stocks actually, you know, they kind of splay out, if you will, to a normal size so they would fit in here. But I haven't taken them out because it's all airtight and no need to risk damaging anything. All right. So coming through here. Okay. I remember once taking a bag cover to a dry cleaners after a particularly rough uh, St. Patrick's Day season and it was a little uh, stanky. And uh, anyways, wanted to get it cleaned and uh, it came back with the note, dog sweater. That'd be a weird dog. But anyways, I thought it was a good description and probably a good way of pricing the amount of work that went, involved, that went into cleaning it. Okay, we've got second stock coming through. Third stock's coming through, maybe. Yeah, lovely. Okay. And we can go ahead and zip up the bag. You can see everything looks really nice. The uh, cuffs, I, I specifically gave the dimensions of the stocks and everything else, and it was made to order just like I wanted it. It looks like it's fitting perfectly. Let's go ahead and fit everything else in. We will start with the base. I'm going to go ahead and just take it out this time. One. Yes, the middle still has black on the bottom. So again, if you haven't seen my hemping videos, I always like making the middle of any Highland pipe or Highland style pipe different so that I can immediately tell if it's not 
too much coffee. So it doesn't get mixed up. I like keeping all the vibrating parts of the bagpipe working together. All right, here it goes. All right, here goes this guy. Okay, get the blowpipe in there. Let's go ahead and get the chanter back into the chanter stock. Again, this is where you gotta be nice and careful. Didn't touch the edge is at all. And let's put it the rest of the way together. So for now, the black chords uh, don't quite go with the blue, but that's all right, that's all right. That'll be a fun video to make with the chords. And voila, we have these folk pipes now in a slightly fancier bag cover. Now I did take these apart, so they're probably not gonna be in tune. Uh, I almost assume they won't be in tune. So let's see uh, how long it takes me to get these in tune and going. So it's nice and comfortable. It's nice and soft, uh, which I like. I always like this kind of velveteen uh, material. The stitching, I don't, I don't feel that under my arm. It just adds an extra little pop. Um, and the cuffs are a little bit shorter, so you can see some of the detail a little bit better than you could with the factory one, um, because I got the Mopani and the, the alloy uh, versus the full poly sets of these. So I want that to be seen. Uh, but yeah, it's a comfortable bag. I always like the gripping material he uses here. and. It's a bag cover, but it's a really nice bag cover. And it's got the zipper in the back that's gonna let me get in and get all that moisture control taken care of. So here we go. Um, this is nearly done now. Just uh, there'll be a follow-up sometime in the future about the drone cords. But for now, let me find a couple other bag covers and uh, bring those on camera so you can check out some of his other work. All right, years ago, I actually had um, the gentleman make me some custom covers. And if you recognize this design, I want you to comment below with what this was inspired from. I'm not going to say it in the video. I want to hear you comment below. But uh, yeah, white with black stripes, very iconic, um, but maybe not terribly bagpipey. So those are, oh man, I had these made in 2006 or so. Um, and the cover still holds up great. Uh, the gripping material still holds up fine. The stitching is um, all still perfect. And this has gotten a lot of use. Uh, this was on the road with me uh, with the Killed Airs for many, many years. Uh, I'd go between this uh, and two other covers, but I was switching them out fairly regularly. And it's, as you can see, it's, it's held up great. There's, there's no problems. Yeah, it's white, so it's gotten a little dingy, but you know, that's not, uh, that's my fault for picking a white bag cover. And then my pipe band as well uses his covers right here. Um, this is a navy with gold trim rather than fringe, as well as a bit of red around it. You can see it extends onto the collars as well. Uh, again, I guess I like navy for uh, Highland pipes, but uh, this cover, again, I got this in 2013, I would think. And this has gone on many parades. It's gotten drenched at Stone Mountain. Uh, a lot of things have happened to it over the years. And as you can see, it's holding up fine. There's no damage. There's the neck right there. Uh, the stitching is still all holding up fine. Uh, there's no tears, pulls, anything else. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, again, anytime I need a bag cover, I go to bagpipecovers.com. I am not paid or endorsed to say any of this. I pay full price for all this stuff. Uh, I just like talking about a product I like and that has held up well for me over the years. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you got something on the video, please think about subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to help support the channel. You'll see names scrolling up of folks here that contribute monthly to the channel here. I'd love to add your name to this list. There's often perks like early access to videos and some other unique content, so go check out my Patreon page. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise with t-shirts and hats and mugs and all sorts of things. Check that out and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. Again, I'm Matt Willis and until next time, cheers. Cheers.